Hey guys, welcome back. Before I started this video today, I wanted to show you this awesome water bottle I got for my Humvee from Amazon. Now, this is just the most perfect thing for a Humvee because, I mean, look at that, it's camo. It's a cool water bottle, looks like a grenade, soft, made of uh, silicone, and it has a water spout on the top here. The best thing is it hangs from a little chain on the top right at the side when I'm driving so I can just pull it out and have a drink. Uh, and the most beautiful thing is it expands. So, you know, you can fill up a lot of water in there. Look at that. It's fully expanded. And once you're done, you can collapse it. Anyways, just a little thing I wanted to show you. Oh, you might have noticed that. I had these left over from when I did the doors, hung the doors. So I'll be covering this, don't worry about it. I'll be making a rubber cover to put over it and it'll stick there. Of course, I'll be cutting off these bolt ends so they don't cause any damage or stick on anything. Yeah, let's get to the video. Hey guys, I thought I'd do a really fast introduction of everything that's involved in putting my M2 replica together. Um, I did this sketch really fast in about five minutes or so with a pen. And um, these are all the pieces that I'm going to go through in this video bit by bit. Uh, now you can see the base here is the Humvee bed. And I will be putting this M2 stand base on the bed and bolting it a little off center, more towards the driver's side. After that, I'll be connecting the stand, Humvee stand, to the base. And this is a swivel stand. I, I built it specifically so that it can swivel and, you know, collapse when it's not being used. These two struts will give it stability. And I will make another brace in the back, but I'll do that in another video. Uh, after that, of course, here's the stand and here's the strut that goes up to the base of the M2. Here's the M2 itself, the replica. And the M2 connects to the stand with this pintle, right? So the pintle does two things. It swivels, holds onto the gun, and holds onto the shield. I had this fabricated as well. It's a really nice piece. Um, in the video, you'll see me painting it. The shield I built out of aluminum, designed it on my computer. This I designed on my computer as well, the base. What else? Uh, I designed the cradle completely from scratch on my own because they are way too expensive if I buy them. So I built the entire cradle and the ammo box holder piece. Um, the cradle, of course, has two pieces, one on either side, and another, another of these pieces as well that hold onto the ammo box holder. So I built all of that on my computer, got it laser cut. I did the same thing for the ammo box holder. Uh, these are really nice. I will show them to you in this video. I designed this, got it laser cut and bent it. So after I put it all together, that holds the ammo box on one on either side. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the entire diagram. And I hope that gives you some idea of what the next two videos are going to be about. It's a long process. So it'll probably be broken up into two videos. Thanks guys, let's do this. Today we'll be mounting the M2 HB onto the back of my Humvee in the bed. Here she is all put together with the stand and the shield and it looks pretty lovely. And here's Matilda. I will be drilling four holes into the back around here and then bracing it from the underneath with plates so that the whole thing doesn't move about or jostle about whilst I'm driving. Now, if you look at the shield, you'll see I've been scuffing it about with uh, metal wool. And that's because I need to paint it 383 Kark Green. 
Here are the collapsible base brackets that I designed on the computer. That is bracket number one. And this here is bracket number two. The second is a smaller bracket that welds onto the first one to give it strength. And I also have a couple of these brackets to put onto the, the stand itself so that it swivels on the base. Let me show you what it looks like. So here's the diagram. I have a heavy metal base. This is all, this is all steel, mild steel. And um, I have brackets number one and one welded to the base. The brackets two are welded onto the first, the upper part of the first bracket on both sides. And two more of these brackets are welded onto the stand itself, which then connects to this bracket and swivels up and down so I can collapse the stand when I'm not using it. All right, so I got these parts laser cut from uh, Send Cut Send, and these are five millimeter thick mild steel. I'm going to get them welded today. Uh, it'll come out really nice because I have a nice design planned. I'll show you when it's done. Here's how I loosely bolted it together to show the guy how I wanted it welded. You can see that number two plates near the center stem and the others bolted to the base. It turned out pretty well and now I just have to paint it. Here's a close-up of what the stand looks like when it's fully bolted in. I got these large hex bolts and they have the nuts in the back. So what I'd be doing is once I'm done with the stand, I would remove this bolt and the small bolt out here and the whole stand would, you know, collapse forward or backwards, sorry, and uh, sit in the bed of the truck. When I don't need the stand and the shield, I can lower it from vertical to sleep mode on the back of my truck. How cool is that? Here's the design of the chicken shield that I did in Inkscape. I've ordered this to be laser cut and bent where you see the little green line, the green dotted line. So I'm having that bent at about um, 20 degrees backward and this chicken shield will be made of aluminum. I'm pretty excited today. See what arrived. The shield. Now I had this cut out of 6062 aluminum. It's about 4.7 millimeters thick and uh, it's pretty solid. I will have to have it bent along this line, but uh, once it's mounted and painted, it should look pretty awesome. I just applied the first coat of green to the shield, letting it dry before I give it a second one. It's looking lovely. So this is dried, looking very nice. We all know how crazy expensive these cradle pieces are. So I designed them myself. Um, for a fraction of the cost. Uh, I do it for you guys too, if you want, just uh, hit me up. 
Anyway, these are the cradle pieces that go on each side of the M2, um, these two pieces. These two are actually ammo can holders that bolt onto these two pieces. Uh, you can see the holes align quite nicely. And um, I'm getting them laser cut out of mild steel for strength. I will unbox it soon and show you how they look. So here the parts are drying after I just spray painted them. That green 383 levels so nicely and when it dries it looks really beautiful. Here's um, what they look like when they all dried up. And I am now ready to mount them onto the sides of the M2. This will be fun because I have to put it all together and uh, rivet it. I was looking online for these ammo can holders uh, to mount beside the M2 and uh, they were all used and um, in rough shape, would need painting and stuff. So I decided let me make my own for about half that price and do a custom job of it. Made sense. I used Inkscape to design this on my computer. As you can see it's uh, taken a little bit of time because I wanted everything to come out perfect. I got these little uh, grid cutouts so I can put it into my bender and bend it up to make the shape and little tabs so I can uh, rivet it together. So check it out. It just got delivered and I am, I just opened it up. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Stainless steel. Now let's bend it. This is a small bending brick that I got from Harbor Freight. Once again, cheap tools, but for small stuff like this, it's just perfect. This is the part I'm going to bend to make the ammo can holder. And once I fold it up, um, on all four sides, I'll put an ammo can for 50 cal in the center and bolt it to the rest of the cradle. Let's see how this bends. These came out really good. And I built both of them for around 50 bucks. Not too bad. Next thing I'll do is paint them. Maybe 383 green or maybe black. <laughs> 